Peggy 16. The vehicles in Sniper Elite 3 now have the X-ray kill cam as part of their functionality. So that just like when you shoot a person, you see an X-ray of their skeleton, this time you, when you shoot a truck or a tank, you actually see an X-ray showing the engine with all the pistons moving, which is pretty fantastic. The kill cam is something that's really big in the IP of the Sniper Elite, and we didn't want to just rest on our laurels. We wanted to like make it better, improve it, push it forward, and you know give more scope to it. Yeah, look out for some X-ray kill cams on the engines. We are really big on authenticity, and what really helps us is we've got a bunch of guys who are sort of tank nerds and geeks, and you know they love this kind of stuff anyway. When we were looking at putting more vehicles in the game, we got ourselves down to the Bobbington Tank Museum and getting a personal tour from the museum's curator is amazing. We're here at the Tank Museum at Bovington. Um, Bovington's got the best collection of tanks in the world. This is where the British Army came in the First World War to train with this new secret weapon, the tank. They've stayed here ever since and it's also where they put a collection together to help teach the troops. And that's now open to the public and it has been for many years now. What happens in the North African campaign towards the end of it, only then does Hitler really wake up to the fact he is about to be defeated in North Africa. And at the very last moment, he starts reinforcing the German armies there with the latest equipment and more men. He loses an awful lot of that equipment as it travels across the Mediterranean. But interestingly, he doesn't lose any of the Tiger tanks he sends across. They all make it there that are being sent out. Vehicle takedowns have added a really nice, fresh new element to the gameplay in Sniper Elite 3. Um, we recently demoed the game at PAX East in the US and a few shows in the UK. Gamers got to go hands-on with Hellfire Pass, the third level, and at the end of the level uh, they come face-to-face -face with the Tiger Tank for the first time. What we found was that players had many different approaches to taking down the tank. Some would use dynamite and mines to immobilise it and make it an easier target. Others used the binoculars to tag vulnerable parts uh, and take it down piece by piece from a distance, all the while staying in cover and staying stealthy. Um, the bravest snipers went for one of the hardest shots in the game, which is um, through the vision slit on the tank. Uh, it's brave because if you get that wrong, the tank will quickly find you and you're not going to last long. You don't have too long to wait and uh, you can go pre-order it now.